today we're going to talk about uh, the admin menu action hook okay so generally if you uh, want to go ahead and create user going to user add new you know and uh, then you s give that role to the user whether it's author contributor editor administrator and then if you go to um, settings and then general you know and then you give some you know default role to the user as you know that you know different user will uh, be allowed to vi visit uh, or have the option of certain options on the admin menu you know uh, for example if it is just a subscriber he may not have option to add a new post or add a new media or things like that so different users have got different fun functionality and they will be able to see uh, different menu options over here so me being admin I can see everything but uh, the rest of the users might not be able to see all of these menus so if you want to give that kind of control uh, or edit these things uh, from right here you can you do that by using the admin menu hook okay now this admin menu hook uh, let's see where it is defined let's go ahead and you know see the core functionality so if you go to the Adam Brown info and if you go ahead and search this admin menu uh, hook then you can see as per the latest version over here it is defined in menu.php into WP admin includes so if you go there um, and you go to menu.php you can clearly see that this is the uh, hook definition here it's a do action admin menu and uh, if you scroll up you can see that you know it's checking is network admin um, and then else if is user admin if not then go ahead and define this to action okay so whatever code you're going to uh, define uh, latching onto this hook will be executed at this point and depending on uh, what rights you want to give to that user uh, those many admin menus are going to be displayed over here okay so you can make changes as to you know how many of these menus you want to display uh, using this hook so we'll go ahead and latch onto this hook which is admin menu we'll go to functions.php uh, and add action admin menu and this is our custom function we are checking if this function uh, does not exist and we are creating this function and then I have defined set of uh, you know uh, different functions over here uh, basically it's the same function but passing different parameters so it's a remove menu page function so if you go to codex and look at it remove menu function basically removes a top level admin menu so the job of this function is to remove uh, you know these admin menus and depending on what parameter you pass into it it will remove that particular menu so it takes one parameter which is uh, menu slug and uh, the slug of the menu typically the name of the PHP script for the built-in menus example edit comments.php or index.php or you know upload.php and so on and so forth so index.php is basically for dashboard jetpack is for jetpack edit.php is for post upload.php is for media and so on okay so let's go ahead and uh, you know uncomment one of these so let's say if I uncomment dashboard uh, for index.php and go back to our dashboard backend you can see dashboard is gone okay and this function also talks about that it should be called with the admin menu hook which we are doing now calling it elsewhere could cause issues either the function is not defined or global menu variable used but this function is not yet declared so it's saying that whenever you're using this function remove menu page which is what we're using here okay always use it with the admin menu hook that's what it's trying to say over here okay cool um, so let's say I want to take off the themes dot PHP so I want to take off the appearance page as well and let's refresh the page and watch here what happens you can see the appearance is gone okay if I go ahead and uncomment everything from here um, you will see that the entire thing is gone from here I'm not sure why you want to do that but just tell you that in you know, all of these are working 
okay so that's the job of the admin menu hook is it allows us to you know um, hook our own custom function and then whenever the script reaches at this point uh, we can run our own functionality uh, by running this set of codes over here okay so you can using it's very helpful because you know you, it will allow you to uh, give different access to different kind of users basis if it's subscriber contributor author administrator so WordPress generally has those options available uh, while it already does that automatically but if you want to give more rights and if you want to customize the rights of the contributor and probably give him more right or you know, remove some of the rights uh, you can do that using this hook okay I hope that clears and if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment box take care bye